Hi everybody, Christina the Tech Savvy Science Teacher here and I'm going to walk you through the steps of uploading your class to Gradecam. So the first thing you should have done already is to download your class list in a CSV file. If you have not done that yet, um, please go back to the previous video that I have about how to make a CSV file. My suggestion is that the file that you use is a file that you've downloaded from your school's um, gradebook program or attendance program, something that easily has all the students' names in there. Okay, so once you've signed up and you're here on this page, we're going to go to classes. From there, and this is the demo class that comes in when you first create the program, I'm going to click Add Class. So I'm going to call my class Biology, and it's going to be Period 1. So now I, it says here that I have no students. So first, I can go through and I can add students one by one. That's going to take some time, especially if you have many students. This feature would be good if you get a student that moves into your class in the middle of the year. So instead, I'm going to import my students. So it's saying that you need to have a CSV file, and the files must contain first name, last name, and student ID. So you need to make sure those are in their own separate columns. So I've done that already, so I'm going to choose my CSV file. Here it is. And now I'm just going to click import. And it's just showing me here kind of a quick little preview. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to click next because that's good. And what I need to do now is confirm what's here. So it's telling me the first name, it thinks it's in column one, and it is. The last name, column two, it is. The student ID is in column three, it is. And the grade cam ID. So grade cam ID, usually it's easier just to use the student's IDs numbers as well. And for this process, the students don't even need to know their ID numbers, so don't worry if these are numbers that your students don't know. So once you're sure that this information is all correct, and usually um, grade cam guesses pretty well what information is what, you can move on to next. Now, Gives you one more chance to kind of confirm and everything looks good. Okay, great. And now I hit submit. And as you can see here, I now have all of my students in GradeCam. And that is all you need to do. If you are interested in how to create assignments or how to print up forms, check out the other videos that I have. Thanks again. Bye.